Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll dive into the detailed skill analysis of Heinrich, the newest hero class coming this month in ROM. Heinrich is the first dual weapon wielding class which can inflict massive amounts of critical damage to enemies with his sword and dagger weapons. We've already had our first look at Heinrich in one of my previous videos. This time, we'll explore his skill mechanics and analyze his pros and cons in both PvE and PvP. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First, we have the White Star Core Passive skill, which removes Heinrich's ability to do auto attacks. Instead, he will perform a sequence of four distinct attack skills, which is directly influenced by his attack speed. The first skill is called White Star Wind, which allows Heinrich to quickly approach an enemy within 6 meters, dealing 100% physical attack damage. It also steals 30% of the target's movement speed for 5 seconds. His second skill is White Star Flower, which attacks a target and nearby enemies within 3 meters, dealing 200% physical attack damage and restoring 10% of his lost HP. The third skill is called White Star Snow, which attacks a target and nearby enemies within 5 meters, dealing 400% physical attack damage and gaining 1 stack of stored power. Each stored power stack provides an additional 2% skill damage for 20 seconds and other various buffs which we'll tackle later. It can stack up to 10 times and the amount is displayed below his HP and SP bar. The fourth and final skill in his attack loop is White Star Moon, which deals physical damage to a single target based on his attack and the target's max SP multiplied by 800%. It also reduces 10% of the target's current SP. These skills have 35% chance to crit, and when his attacks critically hit, his skills will benefit from the crit damage stat and will also ignore the enemy's physical defense. At level 4, Core Passive, each stack of stored power increases his skill's crit chance by 3% and crit damage by 10%. Hence, at maximum of 10 stacks, his skills will have a total of 65% chance to crit and additional 100% crit damage stat. At level 7, Core Passive, all his attack skills can benefit from auto-attack damage increase without being affected by auto-attack damage reduction. Thus, he won't be impacted by the upcoming 40% AA damage reduction buff in PvP and GVG. Another unique effect of his core passive is the ability to equip two weapons, with the second weapon occupying the offhand slot. Thus, he can utilize four weapon cards, which greatly enhances his damage potential. Next, let's look at Heinrich's other offensive skills. Similar with the White Star attack loop, all of his damaging skills incorporate physical attack, critical damage, skill damage, and auto attack damage into calculation and are considered melee physical damage with convertible element. First is Infernal Judgment, which is the most powerful skill of Heinrich. It consumes all of his remaining HP and stored power stacks to deal physical damage to an enemy based on his physical attack and the target's remaining HP. Thus, the more HP the enemy has, the more painful it will be. The only drawback is it will also drain Hyrich's life to one point. This can be prevented by either equipping the Horn of Unyielding Ancient Relic or by directly killing the target. If Infernal Judgment kills a target, his HP will be restored based on the remaining HP of the target before death. And with the related Star Rune, it can deal an additional 10% to 30% HP loss damage. With the Eternal Knight passive skill, killing a player with Infernal Judgment will boost his own max HP based on the remaining HP of the target before death which can stack. But if used against monsters, it will instead grant immunity to physical and magic damage for 3 seconds. Thus, when timed correctly, Infernal Judgment will not only deal massive damage but can also boost Hyrich's survivability. His other offensive skill is Moonlight Dance. It consumes all of his stored power stacks to deal physical damage multiple times to all enemies within 8 meters for 1 second. Although it has a low attack multiplier, its damage can be further increased when in Shock Shadow status due to this star room. Additionally, it has the ability to restore 10% of his max HP for each stored power stack. Thus, at 10 stacks, he'll be able to restore his HP to full. 
Furthermore, the Bright Mirror debuff can be applied to all enemies hit, which we'll discuss in a bit. Take note that the damage of both Infernal Judgment and Moonlight Dance are amplified based on the amount of stored power stacks. Hence, it's advised to stack layers of stored power first before releasing these two skills. Next, let's take a look at his active buff skills. First is Shock Shadow, wherein Heinrich will sacrifice 30% of his own movement speed in exchange for Endure Effect and 90% final damage reduction. Additionally, during the skill's 6 second duration, Heinrich will gain 1 sword power stack every time he receives 3 attacks. And with this star rune, there's also 10% to 100% chance to counter attack based on his white star snow damage every time he gets attacked regardless if it misses. When equipped with a tier 5 Kingdom Sword, Shock Shadow can last for an additional 2 seconds. Next is Wind Whisper, wherein Heinrich will backslide 5 meters, becoming immune to ground magic effects and range physical damage for 3 seconds. And when equipped with a tier 5 Kingdom Blade, he'll gain 5 stored power stacks every time he casts Wind Whisper. Its cooldown of 7 seconds can be reduced by CD Reduction Gears in this S rune. Getting a max value on this rune will lower Wind Whisper's cooldown to 4.9 seconds. Take note that Wind Whisper cannot be placed in the Auto Skill Bar but can be included in Prepare for Elite. Placing it in Prepare for Elite removes the Backslide animation, so its purpose is to quickly acquire 5 Stored Power Stacks and the immunity effects without distancing from your target. Third and last is Unyielding, which reduces HP loss damage received by 30% and increases the damage dealt by 50% as long as he can maintain more than 60% HP. With this as shown, it can also provide an additional 1% to 30% crit damage and neutral damage. The buff effects last for 30 seconds and has a cooldown of 5 seconds so it can be up all the time. If you're looking for a reliable and efficient online game top-up center, I highly encourage you guys to check out Smell One. With years of experience in the industry and partnerships with various game developers, they offer top-ups for a wide range of games at competitive prices, including Premium and BCC for Ragnarok Mobile. Smell One top-up is available in many countries across all servers, and you may pay via their trusted payment platform. In the Philippines, I can pay securely using my GCash via Alipay and receive the BCC instantly. Please do check out SmileOne's pricing and payment methods using my exclusive link in the description box below. Next, let's take a look at his two debuff skills. First is Breaking Dawn, which nullifies the enemy's Reflect, Block, Flee, and Anti-Fatal effects, making it easier for Heinrich to kill his opponents in both PvE and PvP. He can ignore Kamora's White Barrier and Saint's Fate Prey. And if the target is killed using Infernal Judgment, it will deal splash damage to all enemies within 4 meters from the target. This HP loss damage is equivalent to 50% of the target's remaining HP before death. The debuff effect lasts for 10 seconds, but it can extend up to 15 seconds with this S rune. Just take note that Breaking Dawn cannot bypass the HP block effect of Horn of the Unyielding Ancient Relic and Raph Greasy's Divine Wing Armor. The other debuff skill is Bright Mirror, which reveals the enemy's armor element to Heinrich and his teammates in PvP and GVG. Additionally, it reduces the target's critical defense and damage reduction to all enemies by 30%. This debuff lasts for 30 seconds and only has a 3 second cooldown, so you can repeatedly apply it to multiple enemies. Lastly, let's take a look at his passive skills. First is Star Regions, which increases the damage multiplier of White Star skills by 200%. Additionally, every 8 points of VIT increases the damage of White Star skills by 1%. Hence, the more VIT you allocate in Heimwich's stat distribution, the higher his damage output. Next is Forged Blade, which grants bonus stats based on the type of weapon equipped. For each dagger type weapon equipped, he gains plus 15 agi and plus 15% movement speed. And for each sword type weapon equipped, he gains plus 15 strength and plus 1 meter of attack and casting range. Depending on your playstyle, you can choose to equip 2 swords, 2 daggers, or a mix of 1 sword and 1 dagger. His exclusive sword grants PDI, attack percent, hit, and max HP percent. 
while his exclusive dagger grants crit damage, pen, flee, and movement speed. And last is Moon Chase, which is a passive that reduces the damage Heinrich receives by up to 80% when the enemy is more than 5 meters away. Thus, long-range classes will find it more difficult to kill Heinrich. In addition, when there's no enemy within 5 meters, he will restore 20% of his max HP every 3 seconds. Hence, he can have sustained healing as long as he can effectively manage his distance from his targets. Proper positioning will be crucial to take advantage from this passive. This also encourages a hit and run play style so you can recover HP more quickly. To summarize, Heinrich offers a lot of strengths both in PvE and PvP. First, Heinrich has a good combination of burst type and continuous damage dealing capabilities, which I think is a really good upgrade from flowing blade ninjas. All his offensive skills utilize the same damage modifiers like PDI, crit damage, skill damage, and AA damage and can ignore the target's physical defense and AA damage reduction. The stored power stacking mechanic is also a great addition to balance his damage potential. Furthermore, his damaging skills are not limited to a single element, so he can utilize elemental converters to exploit elemental weaknesses. Second, Heinrich has various ways to sustain his own health, such as by dealing damage with White Star Flower, killing an enemy with Infernal Judgment, casting Moonlight Dance with his high stored power stacks, or just by simply maintaining a distance from enemies due to the Moon Chase passive skill. He can also use a Kobold Leader card in one of his four weapon slots for additional life seal effect. Third, his kit provides a significant boost in defensive stats, especially with a 90% final damage reduction from Shock Shadow and a damage reduction when the attacker is at a certain distance from Moon Chase. Proper timing of Wind Whisper's 3 second immunity to ground magic and ranged physical attacks will also be helpful for his survivability. In PvE, his survivability is far better since he can reduce the damage he receives from monsters by 30% and can become immune to physical and magic damage after using Infernal Judgment. Fourth, Heinrich has pretty good mobility, especially when wielding double daggers. He also has a backslide skill for quick repositioning. Fifth and last, Heinrich can apply various debuffs to his enemies that can determine their armor element, lower their crit death and elemental damage reduction, and nullify their reflect, block, flee, and anti-fatal effects, all of which are very valuable in PvP. But of course, there are still disadvantages. First, despite having skills that can crit, Heinrich still needs sufficient hit for his attacks to successfully connect. Although he has a Breaking Dawn debuff which negates the enemy's flee, this still has a pretty long cooldown of 12 seconds. Unlike Thanatos and Hulkrahan, Heinrich's skill don't have high hit correction. Thus, it's crucial to invest in more dex and hit, particularly against other players with high flee. Second, Heinrich lacks any crowd control skill and anti-CC skill in his kit, making him quite vulnerable in large-scale PvP. Hence, I think he'll shine more in small-scale PvP, particularly when built around Infernal Judgment's hit-and-run playstyle. He can focus on quickly eliminating opponents with massive burst damage before they have a chance to react, and then backsliding to safety until he restores all of his health and sword power stacks. Third and last, although Heinrich has high defensive stats and various sustain in his kit, he's still quite squishy. He also has no anti-fatal buff, so he's very reliant on the Horn of Unyielding Ancient Relic to become effective. Overall, Heinrich's skill set is pretty balanced and can be built either as burst damage dealer or continuous damager. How about you guys? Will you be playing Heinrich in the future? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll also be releasing a full guide on his PvE DPS build in another video, so stay tuned for that. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.